Henry Boyter Jr., Spartanburg, South Carolina. Dutch, we know how it works, but who had the most painful chop when delivered, uh, rightly or wrongly? Did you ever receive or give a chop that had a message behind it? So, hardest chop in the business. Uh, you definitely feel it. Well, I didn't take chops too well. I didn't like chops. The hardest chop when he was pissed off was Andre. Really? Andre, I, I saw him knock a guy completely almost out of the ring. He knocked him back into the ropes, and the ropes hadn't been there. He just knocked him com completely from the middle of the ring out of the ring, in the air. Because he got pissed off at the guy. See, Andre had a little bit of a temperament to him. You catch him in a bad mood, he'll knock crap out of you. So, and yeah, a lot of guys could throw the hard chop. I never liked throwing it. Well, I, but I was an equal opportunity user because I didn't take them and I didn't throw them. If it's going to hurt, don't do it. That's not the purpose of wrestling in my book. I mean, if you got a, those guys in Japan, if they went out there and they're making big money and everybody was doing it, yeah, I'd probably do it. Don't mean I would like it. You ever been chopped? Nowhere. Does it sting? Now, well, but sting. I was in school, and, though. I mean, they didn't have, like, real power behind it. That's what I'm saying. So put a little power behind it and a sting, and you'll be a, you'll be a lover of it. You just walk up to people out of the clear blue on the street and say, you mind chopping the hell out of me right here? <laughs> said, I enjoy that so much. Yeah, a lot of guys could chop your heart if you stay there for it. Bob Armstrong would do it. Oh, yeah? oh they'd hurt like hell. <laughs> but I only did it because that was, his, that was his deal. He didn't throw punches. He threw chops. So I'd have to take them. But he would lighten up on me a little bit, and I would say, thank you very, very much. Thank you. So. I thought you were going to say Wahoo. The hardest oh, job. Well, Wahoo, he and Valentine, I've heard that I've never been around one of their matches, but I heard that the boys would stay behind. They were always on last every night. They would stay behind just to watch them beat the crap out of each, each other. And when Valentine got over, and remember, I've, I've compared Gunther mm -hmm. to a modern day Valentine. Mm hmm. Because he would take his time. He wouldn't even take a deep breath at least 15 minutes in. He would he, he would have a very slow moving match. So, and him and Wahoo, when they started throwing those chops, boy, that that light that crowd up. And you could hear them. I don't know how big the building was, but I don't care how big it was. You could still hear it in the top. And they literally, I don't know how they they, they took it. Because they were hitting each other so hard, they were leaving bruises and purple marks all over themselves. It was crazy. Let me tell you a story about Johnny Valentine. He was a hell of a rib guy. Is this the he inhaler liked, one? Because we talked. Yeah, I'll yeah, tell you this. Yeah, we've, we've talked about this not too long ago. Oh, wow. So, yeah. uh, in fact, I'll say on the YouTube channel, just search Johnny Valentine. You will find that story. I, I promise you'll find it in, uh, in our uh uh, archives just sticking with the ch uh, chops very uh, quickly who gave the chops that looked devastating but didn't really hurt nobody no right. no hey you, you know you can only you can only get the sound if, sound if it connects so if you threw it all you got to do is miss one and then people say nah bullshit but valentine never missed one wahoo never missed one so, and they, they drew, they drew, they would base their big shows off the heat between Wahoo and Valentine. That Wahoo was over because he's been over everywhere he went because he had the Indian, the Indian gimmick and, and he was a real Indian. It wasn't anything that he adopted uh, just, just the gimmick. He was a real Indian. So I think he's from Oklahoma. I forgot. He told me one day. You can tell how interested I was. I, I, I forgot <laughs> it by now. But, but him and Valentine they do nothing but money. 